because the reality is we can't love the things of the world, society, culture, and then, you know, be, you know, how I was. I was guilty Monday to Saturday. I was doing whatever I wanted to do. Then come Sunday, you are worthy to be praised. It's like, <laughs> pick a side, sis. <laughs> but wait, the good news is God doesn't actually hold it against us, even if we are guilty of only going to him when we need something. In this video, I have come to encourage you. If you are the young woman who has been wishy-washy with her faith for a long time and live in that lukewarm life, or maybe you'd like to be a good Christian and you just have no idea where to start. If that's you, this video is for you. So keep on watching. But before I forget, for practical tips that will empower you as a young woman to live your best life, in Christ and for much more engaging lifestyle content then subscribe to this channel where we upload videos every single Tuesday and make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified whenever we upload a video on this channel. This Christian lifestyle is a battle. It can be so hard to get out of the flesh and live completely for God. We often get demotivated or discouraged because we don't know the word, we don't know God's word enough, or to be honest, maybe the Bible just seems boring <laughs> and you're just thinking, what is this? Or maybe it just seems unapproachable and that's why a lot of us battle with our pursuit of God and we battle with being lukewarm in our faith. Just in case you haven't watched the video where I share practical Bible study tips and all about seeking God, then make sure you watch that video as soon as you're done watching this video. So when it comes to overcoming the battle of being lukewarm in our faith, there are some things that we can do. We can do Bible devotions, praise and worship, prayer, journaling, and asking God for the desire to seek him. Collectively, these things do add up. So let me give you an analogy, right? Let's think about a full face of makeup. In order to get this finished look, you don't just have the eyebrows, you don't just have the lipstick, you don't just have the mascara or the eyeshadow or just the foundation. It is these things collectively, these individual things give the finished look. Using this analogy, I really want to suggest that doing things collectively like praise and worship, journaling, praying, doing Bible devotions, it's these things collectively that are going to propel you and your relationship with God and overcome this battle. But wait, my sister, do you not know that you're an overcomer? Do you not know that the Bible tells us that we are victorious through Christ Jesus? We have to put in the work and we just have to trust that collectively doing these things are going to contribute to the bigger picture, to the finished look, as I just shared in that analogy. So I just really want to encourage you to keep on going and not stop. None of this stop, start, stop, start. We were <laughs> like, I, what, the, 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 um, what's that dance move called? The, 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 you know, when you like jerk back. <laughs> That just came to my mind. Yeah, we haven't, we, we can't be doing that. Honestly, we really cannot. And I just want to encourage you to, the reason, another reason what just came to my mind now, thank you Holy Spirit, why we just need to keep on going is the fact that before you know it, you're actually going to be amazed at your own growth. In the moment, it's like, oh, it's sort of like, you know, a slow process, like you're climbing, you're climbing. But here's the thing, before you know it, you're going to be like, whoa, who is this? I mean, I'm a living testimony. And the thing about this journey is the fact that God can only bring to remembrance what you've actually read. So for example, if you're in a tough situation and you need to remind yourself of the word and it's God's word that's gonna get you through the situation, if you haven't read it, what word are you gonna have to get you through that situation in the first place? God can only bring to your remembrance what you've read or studied. And that's all going to happen in your private time and your personal time with God. God actually tells us in his word to cast our cares onto him. So that means if you are struggling right now with this battle, 
you can actually say to God, God, I am struggling with this because the Bible tells us, cast your cares onto him for he cares for us. That's a practical example of casting your cares onto God because he cares. So really and truly, we can't be wishy-washy. We can't love the things of the world, society, culture, try and do everything that culture's doing and then, you know, just one foot in, one foot out. We can't. And the reality is, you know this as well. So I'm only reminding you of what you already know, to be honest. <laughs> so be encouraged. It really is all about taking those intentional steps on a daily basis that's going to empower you to overcome this battle. Because remember I said, you are an overcomer. So today is the day for you to decide, decide that you are going to be intentional with your walk with God. And you don't have to do it alone. Get an accountability partner, do a Bible study plan with them, do a seven day devotional. Maybe Monday to Friday, you say, okay, do you know what? Let's wake up a little bit earlier and let's just pray together. Whatever your circumstance, now is the time to start chasing fully after God's heart. Now is the time to grow in your faith. Now is the time to get closer to God. Now is the time to grow a relationship with God. So the key to cultivating your relationship with God is spending time with him. So I really do pray that this video has encouraged you and empowered you to be intentional about seeking God. If you'd like to take this to a whole nother level, then A Young Woman's Guide to Seeking God is definitely the book for you. So I'm reading A Young Woman's Guide to Seeking God and um, I'd recommend it because I really, really walk the line of being relatable and giving information so well within this book. Um, I think it's absolutely hilarious. I think the first chapter, um, about Io is so honest as well. It is such a relatable read and I think it is suitable for all ages. If you like this video, please do let me know by giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share this with your fellow ladies. And lastly, please do comment below with your biggest takeaway because I really do love hearing from you. And I also look forward to engaging with you in the comment section below as well. Hasta luego y adios. Three, two, one, and get it. Get it. Well, I don't know why I did that. <clears throat>